here to GGC Outdoors. Um, today, I'm actually doing a video on some calls, some different pot calls, and some options you'll have out on the market. Hopefully, this will help you pick a call next time you go into Turkey Woods. So, I've got four different style calls here. They're different slit, or tops to the calls, to the pot calls. I've got the Woodhaven, the classic cherry. Uh, this comes with a nice little topper on it. Um, it's the classic cherry. It's the crystal, crystal call. So I got that one. I've got a night in hell, a canyon cutter. It's an aluminum call. It's a it's a favorite locator call of mine. Um, I'm giving the um, Woodhaven calls a try this year. Um, sounds good. The hunting public uses it. I listen to it a lot on their channel. Sounds like a really good locator. So I'm excited about that. And then I have a slate call. It's a walnut slate, deep tones quiet soft yelps um, I'm gonna show you here in a minute what it sounds like this is a user pretty user-friendly call slates seem to be easier to run then I have a glass call which I made myself with a mahogany wood and it's got an acrylic insert so it has a little different sound you can play around with inserts if you build calls but this is just basically a glass call so let's go hickory strikers I believe this is a cherry striker and this is a composite striker so let's listen to a glass call first so glass call see if it's conditioned good make some yelps with it good call sounds pretty good um, I feel like the composite it's a little harder to get the um, to get the cutting and stuff out of it let's try this yeah that's a little better so you can't get quite as loud with this glass call some of them that you can but I think a glass call is more to intermediate to a better level hunter that's just my opinion I, I, I find other calls would be more user-friendly but you get good realistic turkey sounds out of these so put the glass call aside let's go ahead and pick up the canyon cutter aluminum call you get a really high pitched sound out of these calls and you and i i find that you tend to get a lot of gobbles ready Here the clucks, the yelps, I mean. You get a real high pitch, it carries far. If you're trying to locate a turkey midday, this is money right here. So I, I like it, this is my go-to call. So, all right, so my next call, and I consider this to be the most user-friendly, people that are just starting out, I say pick up a slate call it's easier to make good tones on it and good realistic calls so I'm gonna pick up this striker here and I'm just gonna start making some sound there's some clucks real hot high pops I mean it sounds pretty good to me now I'll do some yelps Yeah, that sounds good. This is, this, this, you can't go wrong with the slate call. Let's see if I can do some purrs on it. Do a little fly down cackle. Man, this thing, can't go wrong with the slate. If you have any questions or any kind of reservations about buying a call, go with slate. You won't, you won't be disappointed. So now, new to me, is this crystal call I'm really interested in the sound that it makes the pot is kind of as you can see the way they turn it it's it's not flat around it's kind of tapered out so everything in this call is what makes it sound the way it does the cherry the the, the um, crystal it's just so here we go so this is with a purple heart striker we're, and then we're gonna use this uh, the hickory and the purple heart. You guys can decide which one you like the best, but 
here's the here's some clocks. Nice and loud, good pops. So I, I could definitely locate a turkey with this. Now I'm gonna do some. Some good loud yelping, and then I think you can get soft with it too if you want to. Oh man, this thing carries a mile. You you can't hear it, but I can hear it echoing in the distance. Good for locators, and then uh, purring. Oh yeah. So really like this call, but that's a crystal call. They're not too bad to use. Um, you gotta get something a little more rough, rougher to scuff it up, but uh, this one comes, like you can tell when they make it as a manufacturer, they try it out, it's actually already scuffed up. This is how it came out of the box. So Excited to call to try that, and they give you a little cap that, that protects the face of the call, which I absolutely love. So um, that's just some options. Now, I will show you a call that I picked up at the Ohio Deer and Turkey Expo. Um, it is, man, it is called Team Enticer Sidekick Aluminum. It's aluminum over glass, and uh, it'll play completely wet. You can check out our video. I have a review. He puts it in water, and he plays it, but I'm going to play it right now. It's an aluminum call. It's actually kind of slim, and it's got like an acrylic back to it. And you can actually play on the back of this call for like soft tree yelps. So listen to this. Sounds really good, and that's the back of the call. Now, if I want to go to the front of the call, a little bit higher pitch. Yeah, sounds nice. Enticer, look how thin this is compared to the other calls. This one right here, I just like it. It'll feel better in your pocket. It's got the aluminum top on it. It's just boom right there I'm a big aluminum call fan if you haven't noticed but that's another option and the fact that you can play both sides of this call like if you want to try to get a gobbler that's roosted in the morning and you want to entice him to fly that way I guess that's why they call it the enticer huh and uh, that's pretty much where we're at so uh, thanks for watching this little segment it's our turkey talk I'm gonna start calling it I'm gonna show you some different type of uh, mouth calls that I use in a future episode. Um, I actually have some owl hooters here. I use two of them. This is just a, a HS strut. It's kind of the an old school you bought buy at Walmart. I really like this one. And then I have another uh, another call from Woodhaven. It's the Ninja, the Ninja Owl. It actually makes really good owl sounds just like the other call. You just use them differently. So in future episodes, I'm gonna show you how to use all these, but I'll end this segment with a nice little hootie hoo from GGC Outdoors. Okay, make sure this is right here. Okay. <laughs> all right, well, thank you for watching. Have a good day.